everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I've done a makeup look inspired by Shay Mitchell. The, the very famous makeup artist Mary Phillips did Shay Mitchell's makeup to an event she went to and this was her a nighttime look that she wore and it was like orange lips and a like soft smoky eye with bigger eyelashes. I was very inspired by it to copy her and do my own tutorial on it. Also don't forget to follow me on Instagram which I'll link below and also send me questions on any topic you like. Um, I'll leave a link to my Tumblr where you can ask me anonymously and I will answer them all in a video. So to start prepping my skin, I'm going to go in with Garnier's Moisture and Protect moisturizer for normal to uneven skin. I know in my videos my face looks so red when I put moisturizer on but it's actually not red at all in real life. I don't know why the camera picked that up. So mean. Then I'm going to go in with the Mario Badescu facial spray. To prime I'm going to use Maybelline's baby skin just to smooth out my skin and create like a barrier between my skin and makeup. And I'm focusing that in the centre of my face and then dragging the excess outwards. Shea obviously looked like she had a very flawless skin and I'm sure she does. So I'm going to do quite full coverage but I'm also going to do a lot on longevity because obviously when you're out on like the red carpet taking pictures when you're a celebrity you're obviously going to need your makeup to look flawless all the time so for foundation I'm going to go in with the Estee Lauder double wear and then because this is slightly too light for me I'm going to put in a touch of the Rimmel Match Perfection which is really dark for me I'm just going to put the Estee Lauder in like the centre and then tiny bit of the dark one on the perimeters. This spray I will take the sponge with some MAC Fix Plus just to dampen it. Doesn't really matter if you don't get like perfect full coverage straight away because you can obviously just go in with concealer. Definitely need some more coverage on blemishes so I'm going to go in with Revlon Color Stay and I know it is um, quite highlighting but it's fine because it will all get matched when I put bronzer and stuff on. Sexy. And with blemishes, I'm literally like pouncing it in really gently so not to disturb the foundation underneath and also to get the fullest coverage. To hide it underneath my eyes, I'm going to use LA Girls Pro Conceal in Porcelain and this is a really light shade and I'm just gonna prime my eyelids with Max Pro Long Wear Paint Pot in Soft Ochre which is pretty much the same colour as my theme. I'm just applying this with a concealer brush just cause I hate getting makeup on my hands like this is a bit of a pet peeve of mine I just don't want to touch makeup. That's why I was so annoyed at how the Estee Lauder foundation doesn't have a pump. But whatever. So now that all the products are on my face, I'm going to set them with Laura Mercier's translucent powder. The brush I'm using is Morphe's B3. So this brush does shed. It is a good brush. Like it's not um, scratchy at all or anything like that. And I'd find sometimes that I'd often get like chalky contour lines um, and it really helps when you set it with powder along where you're going to put contour. Now I'm going to fill in my eyebrows using Anastasia of Ebony Hills Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony with a Zoeva Wing Liner Brush. I've literally had this exactly... I've literally had this same brow pomade for like over a year and there is so much left and it's still just as good. Definitely recommend any brands dip brow pomades if you are a girl who fills in your eyebrows every day because it's the value for money is amazing. 
So I'm going to move straight on to eyes and from this picture it looks kind of like warm, ah, warm crease colours um, and then just lots of eyelashes and it slightly smoked out so I'm going to kind of take my own twist on it and just be inspired by that. So personally when I do and I watch makeup tutorials I like to see eye looks from just one palette because then it's annoying to like want to buy all these different ones if you see what I mean. So I'm just going to use a palette that has all the shades I'm going to use in which if that makes sense which is the Morphe 35N palette. I'm taking a fluffy crease brush and that is the Morphe 429 brush. I'm going to take this orange colour and just start applying it in my crease and with this look I kind of just want to build up the colours. The whole of my mobile lid I'm going to take this colour here which is kind of like a cool tone brown then taking this cool tone brown which is just slightly darker than the previous one I applied I'm gonna blend that in with the orange but I'm gonna focus this more right in my crease rather than above it she didn't appear to have liquid liner or gel liner on but what I'm gonna do is take a black eyeshadow from the same Morphe palette and a flat shader brush and I'm just gonna push it into my lash line and smoke it out like that and I'm not going to wing it out or anything. My lower lash line, I'm going to take a dense blending brush and I'm going to apply the two crease colours underneath my lash line. Because her look was quite glam but very soft on the eyes, I'm going to apply some brown pencil liner in my waterline. And I've taken it all the way into my tear duct for that really like sultry, sexy look. Now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply Roller Lash Blow Benefit. Eyelashes, of course, you can use like really nice wispy strip lashes, but instead I'm going to use the Ardell Double Up Individual Lashes. The lash glue I'm using is as always Revlons, but I'm going to apply a little bit of the glue on like the back of my hand, so every time I pick one up I can just dip it in and then pop it onto my lashes. So I'm going to pick them up with tweezers and then apply it onto my eyes. And you just want to be looking down and then just pop them on. And I'm pretty much going to focus them on the outer corners because it suits my eye shape better. So I'm going to let those eyelashes dry and then I'm going to curl them and apply more mascara. Before I do the rest of my face, I'm going to apply my lips first. And she had a really beautiful orange lip on. And the most similar that I have is this one from Sephora. And it's the Luster Matte Longwear Lip Colour. And this shade is russet luster so I'm not gonna apply lip liner I'm just gonna apply it straight onto my lips to finish my face I'm really gonna bronze and contour my skin because she like naturally has that beautiful bronze skin but she also had that extra bronze so I'm gonna use Max Gives Me Sun to contour I'm gonna use Sleek's contour kit in medium and a bedellium tools 942 brush. She also had her nose snatched, so I'm also going to snatch mine. And I'm not even going to use a smaller brush, just going to do a lazy contour. Taking the Morphe 9B blush palette, I'm going to use this blush, which is quite a dark pink. I'm going to apply the smallest amount on. And to keep with her bronzed makeup look, I'm going to use Laura Geller's Gilded Honey on a Morphe M510 brush. And I'm basically going to apply the highlighter everywhere because it's not too pigmented where you can't apply it everywhere. It would just look weird. 
this one is like a nice kind of subtle shimmer without being too much this particular lip color from sephora i really recommend obviously i can't buy it anymore because i have sephora in the uk but when i got it in america and obviously now using it it's obviously a liquid lipstick but it's not like completely drying at all um they're so comfortable to wear and they have a lot of beautiful colors so i definitely recommend them this is the whole makeup look i'll see you in another video